This is a CNBC special report. Is your money safe? The fall of Lehman Brothers. When there was a huge round of layoffs of uh, the month prior in February, I was on vacation in New Zealand. I think I saw an email from a coworker saying, hey, this just happened. And it was really, really shocking. They had weathered all these other financial storms. And, you know, the whole concept of too big to fail. It was just such a large layoff and unexpected. I was laid off in March and then it went completely under in September. It was, uh, it was a Friday and I had access to my boss's email and I, I saw an email, my boss asking the CAO who was gonna tell me and um, the CAO said, I'll, I'll tell him. I had no warning beyond having to see an email that it was coming down the pike for our department. I'd say that there's probably is a portion of people think everyone was somehow in cahoots as far as the crisis was. There was nothing that my department did that attributed, you know, to the downfall and bad loans and, you know, everything that you hear about. It seemed to be into two camps of, you know, there was a group of people who were just waiting for the next shoe to drop. And then there was the people like, okay, we weathered the worst. You know, let's hope for, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, you know, kind of mentality. I would say that there's just been a lot of instability for me work-wise. I haven't been able to, you know, get into a place and, you know, get traction. When Lehman Brothers went bankrupt, I was in touch with my, my boss. When I asked him, you know, what's this like? How are you doing? What have you? He was like, well, this is kind of one for the history books. I feel like I'm witnessing history. My job was to make sure all the correct IP assets went over and the ones that weren't supposed to go over didn't. I never really felt personally at risk. Um, I think just because I was busy, I was always busy, it never was changing. Lima was huge, so I don't think you know anyone thought that something that big could go bankrupt. I remember one thing I remember one in particular was 745 7th Avenue was like surrounded by reporters. So every time I would go between the buildings, I'd get stopped and they'd ask me what's going on, blah, blah, blah. It was, I can't really think of any situation under which the Barclays Lehman deal happened, whereas like the people coming over would be, you know, thrilled. You know, the company went bankrupt and they got, you know, picked off, you know, in a bankruptcy. But I think that in itself, you know, feeds a little bit of possibly resentment. Every company is run by people, right? You know, no matter how smart they are, they don't know everything. And if something doesn't seem right or something seems to be different than other people are telling you, don't ignore that. Now I'm a general counsel at a small company called Bark. We sell dog products. Our mission is to make dogs happy. And I'm sure I'll continue to change jobs, seems to be the, the trend these days. Um, at some point, hopefully, I won't be a lawyer. <laughs> I think about Lehman a lot more than Barclays. I think of it as the Lehman Brothers building. Um, and it's very apparent that it's not anymore. <laughs>